You wake up, but don't hurry to open your eyes. On one hand, you feel surprisingly well-rested. On the other, your body feels strangely stiff. Ah, that must be because you fell asleep not on your comfy bed, but lying on… Wait, what is it exactly you're lying on? You sit up and finally look around. There isn't much to see because you're surrounded by almost complete darkness. Ah, it started yesterday. You were driving home when you heard some news on the radio. One of the largest shopping malls in your area was closing for good. It had something to do with bankruptcy or relocation. You don't really care. What you pay attention to, though, is the words 90% discount on everything. Ah, the shopping mall is quite far from the city, but you decide it's worth making a detour. You rummage in your memory a bit more. You recall going from one store to another, choosing, paying, your bags getting heavier and more numerous. And then you remember that fateful moment. You got so tired that a bench in a quiet nook on the first floor seemed like the best place to have a nap. You must have fallen asleep, and it suddenly dawns on you. They haven't noticed you and locked you inside. You relax a bit. How bad can it be? It's unlikely such a huge shopping mall with hundreds of stores and all kinds of entertainment will be abandoned all at once, which means some staff members will arrive soon and let you out. You reach into your pocket and fish out your phone. Hmm, 11 a.m. It's late enough for the workers to be already in the mall. Then, finally, it occurs to you that you don't have to wander around in the dark. One press of your thumb and the flashlight on your phone is on. Ah, much better. It takes you more than an hour to explore the mall. Not a living soul. You feel a bit disheartened. Anyway, You're getting tired of wandering in the dark all alone. Time to call for help! You unlock your phone, finger lingering over your best friend's name, and then you realize one thing. You've been dreaming of getting into such a situation for ages. You're locked in a mall with no one around. You can do anything you want. That's how you make the most terrible mistake in your life. You switch on airplane mode on your phone so that no one bothers you and go have some fun. You need to figure out how to turn on the lights. No switches you come across seem to work. Apparently, before leaving the mall, they shut off the electrical power. But there must be a backup power generator in such a large building. After searching for what seems to be hours, you see what you've been looking for. After some fumbling, the light is on. It's not as bright as when the mall is open, but it's still something. Time to have fun. You don't need to think where to go first, not with how loudly your stomach is rumbling. Supermarket! You start with a sandwich just to make the annoying growling a bit quieter. After you're done, you get a shopping cart and start to walk down the aisles. Everything that catches your eye goes into the cart. Finally, you're sure you won't be left starving. Strangely, it happens when you can't cram anything else into your cart. You find a pretty cafe, choose a table, and begin your feast. Half an hour later, you realize you've overeaten. Time to go explore other stores. By the evening, you've tried on dozens of clothes. It's settled then. You'll change your style dramatically once you're out of the mall. Expensive clothes suit you so much better. You've picked the presents for your friends and relatives. You've played arcade games. You've tasted all 33 flavors in the ice cream parlor. You can now navigate the food court with your eyes closed. You found a gym with tons of curious equipment that left you intrigued. And you've made sure there's no one but you in the entire building. By 11 p.m., you're exhausted. You go to a furniture store and fall down on the first bed on your way. You don't feel like switching off the light and staying in the darkness of a huge, empty mall. Tomorrow, you promise yourself, tomorrow you'll go home. Even if no one comes to open the mall, you'll call your family. In the morning, nothing seems to have changed. No opening doors, no voices, nothing. Okay then, time to call for help. You reach into your pocket to dig out your phone, and your blood runs cold. After hours of searching around, you have to accept a horrifying truth. You've lost your only hope to be rescued. Several more hours, and you have to admit there's no way to get out of the mall. 
Whoever locked it made sure every single door or window was tightly closed. You rush to the electronics store and only see empty shelves. What were the odds of this happening, with the only store you needed, no less? Well, it seems you're stuck here. You've been doing yoga for years. You've been studying to remain calm no matter what. That's why you give yourself 5 minutes to run around and scream. Then you try to think reasonably. You seem to have everything you need. Food, clothes, books, a laundry, and so many bathrooms you can visit a new one every day. You even have your own movie theater that can seat hundreds of people, a ball pit, and arcade games. It can't be so hard to stay on your own for a week or two. After all, they have to be looking for you out there. After coming to this conclusion, you start making yourself comfortable. You spot a cozy corner in the furniture store and choose the softest bed you can find to put there. After hours of sweating and grunting, you finally have an IKEA-style apartment you've been dreaming about. If you have to wait, you'll wait in comfort. Several months have passed, and you feel down in the dumps. But loneliness isn't the only reason why you're that miserable. The main issue is a lack of sunlight. You learn the hard way how important getting enough sun is. You become moody. Well, moodier than you used to be. Your days and nights got a bit messed up. You find it hard to fall asleep and even harder to wake up. You don't have to worry about your health too much after stumbling upon tanning beds. Now, you regularly get your tiny doses of UV light that help your body produce vitamin D. But the most horrifying discovery? You gain too much unwanted weight. On second thought, extra inches around your waist might have nothing to do with no sunlight. Your recent obsession with supermarket snack shelves might be to blame. On the bright side, you can easily go and pick another piece of clothing once you grow out of a smaller size. Not everyone is lucky to have such an opportunity. And still, when you realize you've put on enough weight to start worrying about a new wardrobe, you go to the gym. Everyday physical activity makes you feel much better. Surprisingly, you also become more cheerful, just like you used to be before the whole mall situation. But it can't help you with how lonely you feel. You've taken up talking to yourself. In the morning, you'd complain about the mattress that needs replacing. In the afternoon, you'd loudly wonder where you'd like to have lunch. In the supermarket or maybe in the supermarket. Before going to bed, you wish yourself the sweetest dreams. It doesn't bother you too much, but you still hope you'll get rescued soon enough. It's been a bit more than a year since you were locked away in the giant shopping mall. You have come to compare yourself with a person living on an uninhabited island. This island has comfortable furniture, a huge choice of designer clothing, almost unlimited supplies of food. There are no people, but also, you don't have to hide from wild animals and venomous snakes. So, all in all, it's not that bad, right?